Here we go, this is a Back on the Grid, the fifth level, part one, on Veteran. And this is where all my freaking hapage started screwing up for some reason. I was... For me, I can't... I can't do anything with MP4s, and any other player, uh, they don't seem to be linking the audio and the video together. So what I've been doing is I've had to render it in the Hapage, uh, what is it, ArcSoft Showbiz, I can't, I don't know what, what version it is, it doesn't say. But I've been rendering it in AVI and then exporting it uh, to uh, Camtasia, Camtasia Studio, it's a uh, software I already got to uh, record this screen, which does an amazing job, but it only, it does, it can't read MP4 files, except it can export an MP4 files. So... But here we go, this is, I thought this was going to be an awesome all sniping level. I love that, I love the one when you were in the ghillie suit in uh, COD 4. Um, was there one in Modern Warfare 2? Was also, yeah, the, the snow level. I do believe you were, uh, when you were walking through, the dogs go by. I, I absolutely love this, uh, the sniping levels. And I'm actually trying to get a hold of uh, Robert Boyne, who seems to be the... Uh, the face of Modern Warfare 3 and the Harm Sure if he's in charge of everything. But I want them instead of doing, let's say they do, they're going to do a, a bunch of map packs. So they're guaranteed oh, yeah. to do at least four map packs. I would say take rid of, just get rid of one of those, okay? And give us a uh, an extended campaign, maybe from the eyes of uh, the Japanese or the Chinese or just some other little. Uh, not little, this is some other government agency, and I want an all sniping campaign level. I want three levels ranging from easy, medium, and hard, but all sniping. I think that was one of the major flaws in this game, that there were no awesome sniping sequences where the whole level you would just go through and snipe. Uh, there's actually, I think on this game, there's three instances of sniping. The beginning of this one lasted maybe, I don't know, not including the running, just a, maybe five minutes of sniping. That's that's not enough on a 12, 13 hour campaign, at least 12 or 13 hours for me. But I would, I would definitely give up a map pack for an extended campaign, just sniping. I'm half tempted to go buy that Sniper Ghost Warrior. Uh, video game. I'm not 100% sure if that's all sniping, but these are my favorite part in the videos or in the the game are these these stealth missions that seem to every time you get out of it, you really get just just get murdered. I absolutely love that. I love sneaking around and just that was also my favorite mission in Spec Ops, where they uh, brought back the COD 4, the ghillie suit. I can't remember the name of it. But I loved it because you were facing other snipers, so you had to sit there and you had to just like be very careful, sneaking out of hedges, just barely peeking would get you sniped on a veteran. But you guys know how to do sneaking parts, so there's basically just going to be me talking over it. Um, I'm having my um, have some trouble with Spec Ops Survival Mode. You guys want to write in the comments? And yeah, no one's writing me comments. That's another thing. I'm kind of, I'm kind of pissed. No one's writing me. And let me know just anything, absolutely anything at all. Do you got a new computer? What is oh, what's what's your setup like? Uh, how fast are your rendering times? It takes me forever to render anything. But uh, here goes one of the better sniping parts of the mission. Oh, I forget what I was talking about now. I love his cinematic kills. Shot the handgun to the face, now the knife to the back of the neck. The base of the skull, severing the spinal cord. Yeah, but for some reason, um, I found this lacking in sniping. I thought this level was going to be all sniping. There's a guy right here, and uh, your exact gun for some reason, except they're in the <laughs> desert. So why would they have your exact gun, exact camo, everything? Okay. Right here, you want to protect him. He'll call out the guys. 
Uh, these guys are actually stupid. For some reason, you even kill. You see one coming up. You kill one. The other one doesn't recognize for a while. But it's always nice to kill the one in the back. You'll see me reload, and then I'll go for the ones right there. I actually, uh, I don't zoom in. I don't like to zoom in. So I just stay, and I do believe, yep, that's it. That's absolutely it. This is done for the sniping of that level. So feel free to rage or scream or whatever. I just the next sniping level is a little bit longer, but still, it's just not enough to satisfy my sniping need. Because aren't these guys, especially Price and Soap, aren't they supposed to be like these amazing snipers? I know from I can't remember what part in COD 2, but I remember they were sniping. But the rest is all action, pure action. I get messed up here. I'm like, how the hell do you get through here? What, what am I doing? Do I go through here? Do I go through here? No, this is all fenced in. Well, invisible barrier. What's going on? So I hop the fence. What you do is you can just drop down directly where I looked at the first second. Uh, there are absolutely no guys until you run up to about right here. Come on, turn around. There we go. You'll see three guys spawn. Or you should have saw three guys spawn, but your back was turned around, wasn't it? Wasn't it? They take care of it. Here is actually the first intel of the level. Right here on this table. And you'll actually see uh, the video go to super low quality for some reason. run out, it's a super low quality video. I was trying different, uh, this is back when I was rendering, this is before I was running an a, uh, AVI, so I'm, this is still an MP4 file. But here what you want to do is stay behind this thing and a bunch are going to spawn, and what you're going to do is go up these stairs. You see a bunch of guys, uh, and kill them off, and you'll see two up top. See the uh, see the at the peripheral, and then jump down, kill him, and then another one's gonna spawn. I wouldn't waste your grenades. I'm not 100% sure if there's an ammo refill. I know ran over the bodies. So I'm just giving two grenade. But there's a part coming up where you absolutely want to keep all your grenades because you're gonna spam them. I found the the hardest part of the actual level is the very end. But uh, compared to later levels, it's it's nothing. But this is the area I was talking about. For some reason, I ran into a, it's in a spawn loop, but it was from behind. They were spawning behind me and killing me. So I absolutely sit here and I'm just trying to get as many kills as possible, making sure to kill everyone I see. I do believe I go back up the stairs and take the top level. You always want to check that first blue tent right there, with the tire, right there. Go ahead and check that, see if anyone's in there. Unless you see someone directly ahead of you, don't just go blindly into there first and then blindly into that second. See, it's all guy. I'm trying to... I don't know what that... I know there's a term for it where you hold on to it. I don't know. I know, I know Woody's Gamer Tag says a lot. Go ahead and blind people. It's an actual term, but I can't remember it for some reason. There you go, screw up one grenade. Oh, I'll lie. didn't get my sights on him. Can't fire through. What is this? Tin? Wood? Screw up a flashbang. Luckily for me, he moved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next building. Yep. Common mid-move. He ran to this building and then back to his other one. There we 
you know, take out people you can see. Right about here, uh, I would say, what did I say? Let's just say overall is 10 times. I'm not 100% sure, but I know in my last video I stated exactly how many. Uh, let's just say 10 times. I would say 7 of those 10 times I found myself in the loop at this point. And then other times it was at the, uh, when I was first going up the stairs. But here I am just dropping down, making sure they can't shoot me because some reason they can hit me through 10, but I can't hit them. I've poked my finger bef before through plywood. That's freaking plywood over there. Or even, what is that? Back in the tent, oh, what was that? That was just a tarp? You can't shoot through a tarp? It's tarps. It's plastic. But, here I am picking up ammo. Finally, I'm looking for the uh, second intel level. Find it, and now it's time to move on to the second area of this level where I found myself completely awed by how much the level just jumped. Actually, no, this is actually the first part, or the second part's the very end. It went from like easy level, because we're only on the fifth level, it went from like easy to hard instantly. 